my beans and wish it's here, it's time to bend me beat. Bitch, I feel like Yannis, this is finals, I drop a 50 piece Every day I wake up, put it on, he always be digging me I have my niggas being right now, that's just a kid to me What's good YouTube, so I'm back at y'all again with another copper drop and this is I think part 5, part 6, I'm not sure, I'm just, you know, getting content, trying to stay up on content type shit. I did say I wasn't going to shoot any more car scenes, but a little studio slash little editing room together, so y'all just stay tuned for that. So for now, we just going to call it a day, my bad if y'all hear some noise in the background, I got my windows down and shit, it's a chill little day. It was just raining, it's probably about to pick back up, Cleveland's so fucking backwards, I don't know, what the fuck. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe, join that mafia. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, and let's get straight into this video. All right, first up, we got Aaron Everett. He has a HK V40. It's a 40 Smith & Weston. This bitch kind of remind me of a Canic slash High Point, if I'm going to be honest. I don't know too much about HKs, SKs, none of that shit. But it looks like a cool, decent little gun. Rating-wise, I would give it probably like a 5 out of 10. But copper drop, I'm going to drop it instantly because y'all know, like, I'm not a big fan on that. But it looks like a nice little gun, though, to have. Me, personally, I would buy it for my collection. So, yeah, let's move on to the next. All right, next up, we got Granham J. Judge. It looks like he got a 5.56 AR pistol with a SBR brace. He got the optic. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And I definitely a cop it for sure. It's definitely semi tack You could add a little bit more to it. You got like some little stitching on the little hand grip right there. I don't know what the kind it is, but it's definitely nice for sure. I definitely a cop it for sure. And yeah, shout out my boy Graham. Graham, let's move on. All right, next up, we got my boy John Kowalski. He looks like he got a Glock 19 or a Glock. Hold on, let me see. I'm sorry. It looks like he got a Glock 43X nine millimeter it got like this american flag theme gray and black and he got some type of mag on there i'm not sure i know there's not no glock mag i'm going to give it probably like a seven and a half out of ten and i'll definitely a cop it for sure like i said 43 x's and 19 x's them are like you know little mailbox guns to me especially a 43 x 43 x so small you could fit it anywhere so i definitely a carry it to like take out trash take out you know anything something small something cool type shit when you don't want to go outside with nothing big i'll get a 43x so i definitely a cop it rate it seven and a half let's move on shout out my boy john all right next up we got sarah coat that's the name of it he has like a look like a glock 19. my bad if y'all hear this train in the background this big ass train but back to what i was saying he has a glock 19 with like this chameleon type color theme going on i love how the stitching look it got like a skull on the stitching i definitely will give it a 10 out of 10 and i'll cop it for sure shout out to Cerakote. you did a fire ass job let's move on all right next up we got my boy e bombs world i'm finna stop putting them in there because y'all just be saying i just be picking their ass i randomly just be scrolling and they got some shit y'all don't sleep on them but e bombs world it look like he got like this glock 17 no it's a glock 18 it got the switch on the side but he got like this, I don't know what the fuck. This bitch is hard as shit. 10. And he got a silencer on the front. Definitely a 10 out of 10 in the cop. Shout out my boy Ebon. But let's move on. All right, y'all. We got, oh my God, it's D-Way. Shout out my boy D-Way. He got some shit for sure. It looked like he got a 5.56 in the background. He got the stand. He got a 100 round drum on it. I would cop that one. Rate it probably like an 8 out of 10. Shotgun, look like a Mossberg, not for sure. Probably like a six out of ten cop. And then he got a look like an MP22. I had one of those before. It looked like an MP22 AR. I'm gonna get that one probably like a seven out of ten. Then he got a Smith and Weston right there. Five out of ten. Look like the 1911. Six out of ten. Look like a revolver. 38. I'm gonna get that one a seven out of ten. Glocky over there. I'm going to get that one probably like a six and a half out of 10. And then look, like he got an MP5 or MP7. I'm not sure. But I'm going to get that one probably like an eight out of 10. And I'm going to cop everything. But as y'all know, not the motherfucking Smith & Wessons. I'm cool on that shit. And what I say, it just started back raining. Let me roll this damn window up.
All right. Now nah, we good. All right, so overall, I'm going to cop everything but the Smitty. I can't do no Smitty. Nah, if one of my friends got a Smith & Weston, man, y'all trying to go to a range, bring that bitch out, because I might be wrong. Smith & Weston might actually be reliable. I don't know, but from my person, for me, I'm good. But shout out my boy D-Way. You definitely got some shit. Let's move on to the next. Yeah, that range starting to pick up heavy now. Nah. All right, next up, we got Joshua McKenzie. He has like this... It looks like a 556 or it might be a 762 ARP. This bitch is hard. He got the optic. The handguard is done. He definitely got some type of trigger on there. I'm a cop it, rate it. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for sure. I love how it looks. It looks like a seven and a half inch if I'm not mistaken. Or probably a 10 inch. I really don't know for real. But I definitely a cop. Shout out my boy Joshua. Let's move on to the next. Next up we got Tay. P. Bridging or whatever how the fuck you said. He got a Palmetto State Armory 5.56 AR pistol with the buffer tube on the back. Plain and simple. Definitely a cop it. Rating wise, 8 out of 10. Shout out my boy Tay. Let's move on to the next. Next up, we got Tristan Scott. Look like he got a, I wanna say a Cicado, I'm not for sure. But he got like a 2011 Combat Master. That's what it says. He got a light on there, he got the optic, he got like this black and bronze type thing. I'll cop it for sure. Just because I seen GHG Hustle Sakato or his 2011, I'm sorry. And he definitely, that bitch definitely hard for sure. Like it's flat shooting, all that. So I'll definitely cop it for sure. Shout out my boy Tristan, let's move on to the next. All right, YouTube, we are on the last and final one for today's video. We got my boy Low Life. He look like he got this Draco. This bitch got some tack on it for sure. I don't know if it got like a foldable stock. I think it does. If it do, that bitch is pressure even more. I'm gonna rate it probably like a nine and a half out of 10 just because it's all black, but it's definitely tacked out. He got like this little lower hand guard for you to rest your fingers on. I definitely fuck with it for sure. Shout out my boy Low Life. But yeah. All right, that's it for the video, man. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like in the comment. And don't forget to subscribe as y'all know i got the giveaway coming up real soon i'm trying to wait till we hit like that 2500 3k subscriber mark so do me a favor and hit that like button hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn post notifications on i'm trying to keep up on my content as y'all know i can't really do shit with the gun situation we're just gonna have to wait until they resolve out so i'm gonna just continue to do copper drops and shit like that and yeah let me know if y'all are interested in like me rating other YouTubers guns as well. I'll start doing that too. So yeah, appreciate it everybody. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I'm out this bitch on game. Life, life, a cop it all if the price right. These VS ones fuck a night like demons in my eyesight. I done seen some niggas die twice. Ducking them people, this that my